Alex Jones, baby. All right. Infowars.com, which had its humble beginnings as a small website attached to Alex Jones's radio and access TV shows, has become the leader in alternative news and information. And through the years, Alex has taken the financial support provided by listeners of the radio show, readers of the website, viewers of his DVD documentaries, and freedom lovers all over the world and reinvested that support back into the Infowars news operation. With your support, we've expanded our offices, built studios, hired reporters, video editors, writers, other support staff, and created the premier alternative news network. You made this possible with your support, and we sincerely thank you. The time has come to expand once again, and this time we want to literally launch Infowars.com into space. That's right, we're launching our own satellite broadcast signal to cover all of North America, and we need your help. But first, let us show you how it works. Shows are created live, like The Alex Jones Show, or pre-produced, like The Infowars Nightly News in HD. These shows are launched according to the atomic clock, and the HD signal goes through a closed caption data embedder, which sends a signal to a closed captioning service, and they begin the process of adding text to the screen. This is done in real time, and it is mandated by the FCC. The signal then goes to an MPEG transport streamer, which sends a signal to a satellite uplink facility. They blast the signal from the uplink satellite to the stationary satellite position to cover all of North America. The satellite is named SES-3 and run and maintained by the largest satellite distribution network, SES, which maintains a global satellite infrastructure to reach 99% of the planet's population. The satellite sends a signal back to Earth, where it is available to thousands of local television stations. It's also available for free to anyone who owns a C-band satellite dish pointed at 103 degrees west. Using a receiver, they can tune to 3,740 megahertz vertical and receive our broadcasts on channel 11. There are over 2,200 TV stations in the United States, hundreds in Canada, and another 1,200 in Mexico that could potentially receive this free-to-air broadcast. Each one of these local stations is able to grab the satellite signal and broadcast it to millions of homes in North America, potentially to over 400 million people. There is an enormous cost in buying and maintaining the equipment, paying for the satellite bandwidth, and the cost of closed captioning service. The monthly service fees alone total nearly $40,000, which is why we're crowdsourcing InfoWarriors all over the world to help us reach our goal of $1 million, which will allow us to reach 400 million people. It's called Operation Money Bomb 2015. Imagine being able to reach 400 million people who are victims of mainstream media mind control, the ones who still believe in the left-right paradigm, in forced drugging, water fluoridation, and the plan of divide and conquer. Your support will allow us to help these people break free of their mental shackles, help bring about a peaceful revolution, and restore our republic. If you're able to help us financially reach our goal, then log on to infowars.com forward slash money bomb and contribute what you can. But there's another way to help that will not cost you anything. Go to infowars.com forward slash money bomb, download our informational packet, email it to your local television station, then follow up with a phone call to ask the station to carry the Alex Jones Show and the Infowars Nightly News. Everyone can join in, and we cannot prevail unless we have your help. So please, log on to Infowars.com forward slash Money Bomb today and help us make Operation Money Bomb 2015 a resounding success. Your support will help us reach 400 million people. I'm David Knight for Infowars.com. Thank you for watching Operation Money Bomb 2015 and for your support. a programmable guy that goes and watches Olympus is Falling and believes all this and really thinks you're a hero. G.I. Joe, great American hero. Yo, Joe. You don't work for Joe. Joe got taken over. The G.I. Joe command base is run by Cobra. Do you understand that? And I use a child analogy to get through to you because that's your main programming template in North America. They're on record with that. That was all Pentagon directed. You understand, you work for Cobra. You dress like Cobra. You have the tactics of Cobra. You are Cobra. Hail Cobra. You want to be little boys? Or do you want to really join the Republic?
They know what's going on at the Bundy Ranch, and they won't even let a police information officer give us any information. That's a bunch of bullshit. It's all these stupid G.I. Joe movies and stuff where the White House is attacked. The White House is run by Cobra. When I went through the process of becoming press secretary, one of the things, one of the first things they told me was, you're not even to acknowledge the drone program. You're not even to discuss that it exists. It's run by chaos. It's run by Spectre. Special executive for counterintelligence, terrorism, revenge, extortion. They run little kids. They run the snuff films. They run the drugs. They run it all. And because you act like a bunch of naive chumps, this whole thing's going to come down on us. Very much concerns me, considering that they have all this bulk ammunition that they're shooting targets of children. Would you like to tell me who it is that is doing this? It is the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Oh, thank you for calling. To every police officer in this country, to every FBI agent, to every Secret Service agent, you work for Spectre. You work for Chaos. You work for Cobra. How do they get power? They stage a terror attack using Spectre, using Cobra. Go f yourself. Who is Cobra? Arms dealing, drug dealing, money laundering group wearing masks. They wear masks, ladies and gentlemen, because they're the corporate CEOs. And they're manipulating the governments against each other. Cobra runs the Muslims. Cobra runs the CIA. Cobra runs it all. Cobra is real. You can call it whatever you want. Cobra is in control of America. And Cobra says the veterans and the gun owners, they're saying that we're the bad guys. These people who hold themselves out to be patriots are not. They're nothing more than domestic terrorists. That's what Cobra would say. That's what Spectre would say. That's what Goldfinger would say. Because that's who those people are. I am Supreme Cobra Commander. You call your petty bureaucrats, officials, and authorities, you will kneel before Cobra or face my wrath! Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Cobra Leader. You pathetic little worm, how dare you call me Mr. Cobra? Welcome back. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. And that was a brief intro from Cobra Commander. Friendly introduction from Cobra Commander. This is the Money Bomb Special. We are now in the secondary studio, the radio studio, as we gear up everything for the nightly news tonight, which you will not want to miss because it's during the Republican debates. We're going to break everything down about the debates. And then after that, Alex is actually coming back in studio for a special presentation on some key subjects. Some of the news that we're going to cover today, and we're going to take your calls at 512-646-1776. That's 512-646-1776 get your calls in to myself, Anthony Gucciardi, and Dr. Edward Group, filling in for Alex until he returns later tonight, is on Infowars.com, Assad to West, if you are worried about refugees, stop supporting terrorists. Twitter hit with lawsuit for eavesdropping on messages. Lawsuit alleges social media platform violates the Electronic Communications Privacy Act by looking at your messages, your private messages, not very private. Low vitamin D linked to mental decline. There's a good chance that most people over 75 in the U.S. are vitamin D deficient. More like most people age anything. How healthcare.gov botched 600 million worth of contracts. Government employees made multiple missteps in doling out and managing those contracts. Obama issues Orwellian executive order to better manipulate America to people the government's will. How nice. Fed tightening threatens disaster for debt-saturated global economy. So if you don't give them more money and let them raise the debt limits, then you are going to have a bad time. Hungry police force journalists to delete footage. I've experienced that going to the NSA where they took our cameras. Shoot the cops. Graffiti artist appears in Austin, Texas days before dueling anti-pro-choice rallies. And I want to talk about that for a second, too, before we get to your calls and talk about health news with Dr. Edward Group. And something I've talked about before that I think is essential. It's interesting that it's coming to Austin, Texas now for of calls for shooting the cops. And it shows just the madness that we've lost our mind. 
And I do, of course, have the solution for that that we've talked about before on this program, and that is to go back to kindergarten and understand the basics of human respect and how we've gotten this far in humanity is not by shooting each other and killing each other, but is in fact by having most basic level of human consciousness and understanding of how life works and and just the eth ethical ability of a kindergarten kid, like a, like a, a two-year-old even, would probably be, probably be able to understand that. Now, Dr. Group, I want to go to calls, and after that, we're going to premiere a special video that ties into this new TV selling for $133,000 on uh, USA Propaganda that Darren McBreen put together. But first, why don't we go to Lucas in Arizona? He wants to talk about media consumption. What's up, Lucas? We're going to grab Lucas on the line here for a second. Lucas, you there? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, sir. What's on your mind? Um, I sort of had two points. Um, one for Dr. Group. Um, Dr. Group, um, when it comes to prepping and whatnot, of course, you got your food, your water. But what is next when it comes to either nutraceuticals or supplements like that? Like, what is number three on your list? That's a great question. I would have to go with iodine. Uh, there's just so many uses for iodine. It can be used as a cleanser. It can be used as an antimicrobial agent. It can be used to purify water. I mean, some of the things that you need to worry about out there if you're if there's a disaster, uh, number one, getting somewhere safe as far away from a major town as possible. But, for example, in my preparedness kit, I have iodine. I have silver. I have uh, ozonated olive oil. I have, you know, as many nutraceuticals as you can get, really, to, to bring with you. I mean, but the vital ones would be iodine because that's in your, if you're in a situation and you get cut, for example, and you have the possibility of getting an infection uh, or for water, basic water purification, that would be my recommendation. I would also say, you know, iodine is a key one for water purification and stuff like that. Oil of oregano is a yep. great one. Colloidal mm -hmm. silver is another one. And by the way, thank you, Lucas. Uh, you have reminded me that the special discount for this hour to support the money bomb, support the operation, is nascent iodine survival shield X2 is now, instead of 20% off, is 30% off, but only for just this hour. So if you're listening right now, it's 3 CST here, 312 CST. There's less than an hour left at InfoWarsLife.com. Survival Shield X2 is now discounted by 30%. Almost a third off of Survival Shield X2, the biggest discount I've seen Alex do ever on Survival Shield X2. Your purchase supports the operation. And it helps the money bomb. Uh, every single purchase helps get closer to Alex's goal of reaching 400 million people on live television, crashing through the lies of mainstream media, and bringing the sledgehammer of alternative media and truth into your television set. He's already on air. He's already live on television, and he wants to go further and do more. Uh, thanks to your funding and your help. So InfoWarsLife.com to get Survival Shield X2 for 30% off. Lucas, thank you very much for your call. Let's go on to, let's go to Aaron in California wants to talk about some health news. What's going on, Aaron? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I've done a review on that brain force, uh, and it's like the number one result for that up on Google. And I wanted to ask you about that. And secondly... About the liver flush, a lot of people, including medical professionals, doctors, are saying what's really coming out of your body is just the congealed olive oil. So I was wondering if Dr. Group had any thoughts countering that claim. Yeah, that's been Anthony. around for a very long time. I want Dr. Group to address that because he actually has some friends that did studies on it. And when I first got into liver cleansing, I actually thought it was bogus because I read some of those articles. And I was like, well, I guess it is just the olive oil. But then I actually looked at the studies, and I think it was Dr. Group's close friend that did one of them. Uh, Dr. Group, what's the intel on that? Well, if you look at ancient Ayurvedic, uh, they use a lot of oils. And oil pulling is a very popular thing right now. Dr. Oz was talking about it using coconut oil. But what happens is, with liver cleansing, I was skeptical at first, too. I mean, there was a lady named Holda Clark that wrote a book called The Cure for All Diseases. And back when I was studying how to cleanse the body, and what to do for cancer and degenerative disease. A lot of the diseases are caused by congestion in the liver. Well, we tried a lot of different liver cleansing herbs, but nothing seemed to really 
purge the liver of the built up toxins, the fattiness that's built up in the liver. So we started trying liver cleansing with the drinking the olive oil. What happened was 